Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In today's video, we will be discussing the US stock market stock screener. This Excel template can be used to search stocks based on certain criteria and then identify stocks which fit your criteria. And you can also filter and also sort the stocks so you can easily find what you're looking for. If you have not subscribed to our channel before, please do. If you like the content of this video, please share with your friends. Now let's get started with today's video. What I have on screen is the stock screener Excel template. And on the top left here, we can see that this is the time as of when the, the stock market data has been refreshed. And this is the number of stocks that are currently in this template. When you download the template for free from inzara.com, you'll be able to sc screen or search across 7,137 stocks. This is, this is the table where you will actually see all the stocks get listed. And on the top, you have the different slicers or otherwise filters, Excel terminology is a slicer. And then you can now, for example, I want to see only NASDAQ stock market. Um, stocks so I can click on it and you will immediately see that there are 3687 stocks from the Nasdaq stock market and then if I click on New York Stock Exchange you have the 3307 so let me clear the filter so I can see everything again so this is very very straightforward you change the filters on the top and then your table gets updated according to the criteria so this filters on the top are exchange industry and then you have the market cap categories like mega, large, medium, small, micro, nano. And you can also filter based on whether it's an ETF or a stock. Then you have to the right, and I can scroll to the right here to see the 52 week low and 52 week high filters. So for example, I want to pick stocks which are at right now at their 52 week low. So I can click on yes. And you'll see that we have two stocks which show up as a 52 week low and you can see the price of that those two are 9.85 and 9.7 they are at their lowest um, and then if I want to clear the low filter and I go back to high so I want to see the stocks which have reached the their 52 week high right now and I have 31 stocks so this is how you can easily filter um, stocks based on the filters on the top before i talk more about other ways of filtering let me just highlight what attributes are available for you for these stocks so you have the stock on the far left here you see this ticker stock this is the data type that excel recognizes this as a stocks data type and in a, one of our previous videos we fully explain what the stock's data type is and all that so i'm going to skip that part for now and the symbol is the ticker symbol then you have the trading volume for the day the price the last price of that stock the change in price change percentage and when i'm looking through these different cells you will see that i have a formula here that says how i'm pull, pulling in the change percentage for this stock symbol and so that's just a simple formula if you want to pull something else you will just edit this to another attribute then you will be able to pull that in very straightforward and again we've had previous videos explaining the field value function and how you can use it so please refer to that pe and then the 52 week low yeah you know if it hit the 52 week low or if it hit the 52 week high you will see a yes or no um, option so when I'm scanning through I'm seeing a lot of no's and you saw that for example the values are yes no and na one thing to keep in mind is that the data is coming from Excel service and you would need a free Excel for the web product which you can use on the browser or you can use any of the Microsoft 365 subscription plans in order to get data from the service from the stock market there are some gaps in this data so sometimes there is no information available in certain for certain stocks and you know when that happens either it'll be blank or it may say not available um, in case you know I'll, let me find an example here so you'll see that the industry information is not available for this stock uh, again it is whatever is available in the service all the data is 
connected to the um, system and so it's not that we are storing this information in this template i'll get to one thing the market cap which we which we calculate but apart from that everything else is coming live from the service okay so market cap this is straightforward market cap value but then i have a cap type which will be either you know mega large medium micro and you know nano and small and there is a simple formula or a lookup information so i'm just going to unhide help sheet this is where you can see what is the threshold for each so if it is if it is greater than 200 billion dollars then it's a mega if it is greater than 10 billion it's large 2 billion medium 300 million small 50 million micro and anything less is nano so that's the that is the um, logic or the criteria that i've used to calculate whether it's a you know mega or a large cap stock the next one is um, instrument type this comes from the service also whether it's a stock or a you know etf or a mutual fund whatever it is again this is something that's coming from the service we're not calculating it then we have two attributes which you can actually customize so i'm showing volume here and actually you can change it to okay let me show me the average volume and it'll change to the average volume it'll if i want to see the previous closing price or i can see the um you know opening price or you, you can change this i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it more clearly you can change from the drop down what attribute you want and there are like 29 attributes available same thing applies to this column also you can choose from all these attributes and if you want to widen the column just you know widen the column narrow again completely customizable according to your needs and the list of 29 attributes that are available are also listed here so you can see all these um, attributes that are available in the drop down okay so there we go and now let's zoom out a little and then see what else is on the right then you have industry and exchange and anything that you see on the slicers at the top they're also coming from these columns so if you decide to change this column then for example exchange you remove this column then the exchange slicer on the top will also get removed so please note that these slicers are built on the columns that you see in this table there is nothing else there is only one hidden sheet which we saw this doesn't have a lot of data and there is no other hidden sheet so everything is happening within this table itself and uh, so please take care if you modify anything then remember that it may impact the slicers on the top okay now we've talked about all these different attributes and how you can customize them and we also saw the slicers at the top how they work now let's take a look at the um the the filtering that is available within excel itself so for example you may want to know the um, only look at uh, stocks between a certain price range so you can do that by clicking on this and then you can say number filters and there are options so you can do you know price equaling certain amount does not equal a certain amount greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to i'm just going to show between um, you can also use top 10 prices if you want to look at that way but i'm just going to demonstrate using between but please note that there are so many ways of filtering based on these numeric values so i'm going to do between and i can now say greater than or equal to once again i can say equals or whatever but i'm just going to say greater than or equal to um 100 to and but less than or equal to 1000 so i just want to see only the stocks between 100 dollars and 1000 dollars so i'm going to hit okay and now i see 640 stocks between 100 and 1000 dollars this is how you can filter the stocks based on price value and you can do the same for change um, if you want to only see the stocks which increased by five dollars or increased by two percent or you know you can you can apply that here so let me say number filters between this time we have to let's see what happens so let's say i want to pick up stocks which are um, greater than five uh, let's say 
we did between so it's at three to five percent okay so i'm just if i type in three and five and i hit okay and now you saw that zero stocks match right because this is a percentage let's go back again number filters between instead of three and five we need to type it as 0 0.03 and 0 0.05 because again this is a percentage value you divide it by 100 whatever you want to do and then type it in now you saw that only the stocks which changed you know it you you have selected only the ones from three between three and five percent and let's just test it right there are only 60 stocks in order to test it i'm going to sort now we'll see how we can use sorting functionality within excel's table to now um, sort these stocks in a certain order so i'm going to go and sort from smallest to the largest again very straightforward you saw that it starts from 3.01 percent it goes all the way until it should go for five percent there we go 4.95 so if i select all of those just i did Control shift um, arrow you see at the bottom left here there is a message that says 60 out of 7137 records found it just means that we um, have filtered to 60 stocks out of the 7137 based on the criteria that we have used for filtering right and then we applied a sort on top of that one important thing to keep in mind here is that the filters that you're applying to multiple columns are all taken into account so it is not only applying the change percentage filter it is also applying a price filter if you remember we already have a price filter of between let me check 100 to 1000 so now let's say i don't want that filter anymore because right now two different filters are being applied at the same time and actually to take it even further i can now say only show automobiles out of the 60 now i'm limited to or now i'm narrowing down to three stocks which are in the automobile industry the price is between 100 and 1000 and they have increased between three percent and five percent so all these conditions criteria are applied together to narrow down my stocks this is how you use the screener now if i want to remove a certain you know let's say 100 to 1000 dollars, i don't want that filter anymore go back and click on it again say clear the filter from price and now you see that there are 18 stocks that are in the automobiles and auto parts industry and the change percentage is between three to five percent if i want to change any of my filters i can come back here and say between um let me change this to you know five percent to ten percent hit okay and now you see i have 11 stocks and these are different uh, because we went to a different change percentage criteria and now you can see the different stocks and you can see the price and all these information about your selected criteria so this is how you use the screener to narrow down and find your own stocks as i mentioned before we start with 7137 stocks and these are taken from the nasdaq stock screener um, nasdaq website where they have a list of all the stocks and it included a bunch of warrants and things rights and excel could not pull that information so i've removed them and so we have we still have 7137 stocks which seem to be pulling data from the excel service and that's what's included here and again this is designed for the u.s stock market if you're interested in you know looking at something like this for a different stock market or different criteria um, different exchange please let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to you know create a template specifically designed for that right now this is for the u.s stock market 7137 stocks and you you can use this to display certain attributes and you can customize the attributes that we talked about here in the drop down you can also apply the slices at the top to narrow down your criteria for selection you can also use the the inbuilt 
selection or the filtering criteria that is available within Excel. And you can do this for any of these columns. And you can also then, for example, um, use the sorting uh, criteria to then sort it from largest to the smallest, smallest to the largest. So you can build exactly the list that you want of stocks that meet your criteria. So that's how you use the template. And if you want to um, refresh the data because the data is from the market. And so whenever you want to refresh it, hit the refresh all, give it a little bit of time to refresh because there are so many stocks in this file, 7,000 plus, it takes a little bit of time to update all of them. And so give it, I mean, I think for me, it's taken anywhere between 30 seconds to two minutes uh, for all the data to get updated. And so I would like to hear from you, your experience, how long it took for updating. And if you experience any problems because we have so many stocks all in one file and it's pulling the data from the system, from the service. Now hitting, hitting refresh, that's all you have to do. Apply your criteria and then you can work with that data, filtering, sorting without having to refresh again. But whenever you see that now it's been a few minutes uh, already and you want to get the uh, market data if the market is open. Right now the market is not open. I'm recording it during a weekend. But if the market is open, the prices will keep changing. And so if you want to keep refreshing it every after every few minutes, uh, after every hour, then just hit the refresh all button in the data ribbon. Now, if, for example, you, de you decide that you want um, to customize this further and then you want to have your own set of uh, stocks, it's very simple. So let me just unfilter everything, clear the filter. So now we have 7,137 stocks. So if you want to add your own stocks, you go to the bottom. This is my, you know, this is the end of all the stocks and I'm here and I can now type in another stock and I'm just going to type in something, very few things that I know. So I clicked, I just typed in in the cell and you can see that it automatically added it to my screener. And now I have 7,138 stocks screening. And this is how you can. So if you want to add one more, click on the cell, type in your stock symbol, just type in your ticker symbol, and then it will then get added. That's it. You can, that's how simple it is for you to add your own stocks. If you want to delete something, just right click on it, delete table rows. Now it'll go away. If you want to change something like I don't, this Zynga in this stock exchange is not what I want. You can go ahead and say data type change. And now it'll go and ask, there's only one Zynga, which one do you want, right? So if I search for Zynga, now it'll say, oh, I have it in the Brazil Stock Exchange, Mexican Stock Exchange, which one do you want? And I can go and click OK. If I want this from the Brazil Stock Exchange, I'll just click on this, select. That's it. That's how you can modify um, the stocks that are in the screener. Okay. I think we covered everything we wanted to cover in this video. I hope you find this video and the template helpful. You can download this template from inzara.com and I'll be back tomorrow with the 30th video in this series, Excel for Stock Market. Thank you very much for watching.